where you want it. Bay 12, please. Hello there, Turtle fans, and welcome back to another Bay 12 video review. And today, we are reviewing the Universal Monsters Teenage Mutant Ninja Movie Turtles featuring Mummy Mikey. Now, I'm going to go back because I don't think it on our YouTube channel yet. I think that was another one of our old Facebook reviews, but I'm going to go back and find our Frankenstein's monster raff and get that moved over here as well. So if it's not up when this video goes up, stay tuned. It will be soon. But this is easily one of the coolest ones. Uh, here is, like I said, Mummy Mikey and he looks great. And there's a lot of really awesome things that NECA did with this piece specifically. First foremost here is the box. So you got an awesome profile of Mummy Mikey there on the front. The, that same picture plus turtles and universal monsters, the mummy, and all that good stuff. Uh, some of the other figures in this line so far. So we've got Frankenstein's monster raft there on the side. Uh, we've got, yeah, Leonardo as um, Igor. Uh, and then down at the bottom we have April as the Bride of Frankenstein, which is kind of interesting that they chose for um, Raph to be Frankenstein's monster and April to be the Bride of Frankenstein, when usually it's Mikey who has the crush on April. But hey, it is what it is. They went with the ones they went with. I still think they were pretty solid figures so far and pretty awesome choices. So there we have some awesome shots of the piece on the back. I, I love the very like classic horror thriller looking poster that they went with there um, in order to showcase the different features of this figure. I think that was really creative and I love the way NECA did that. You got a shot of Mummy Mikey all posed up and then of course there's Mummy Mikey with all of his accessories. And that's pretty much it for the box. And here he is. He looks absolutely fantastic. He's got the bandages wrapped all around his body, except for his shell. He's got a little bit of cross bandages going around his shell, but other than that, his shell is left mostly intact and visible. I love the belt that they did for it with the, the leather with all of the branded hieroglyphics on it. You've got like a golden scarab belt buckle right there in the center. On the back, he's got hieroglyphics carved right into his shell, which is some awesome, awesome detailing. I really love how they did that. So he's got some really awesome hieroglyphics. So we've got a turtle on each side. We've got what looks like the crest of what I'm assuming is supposed to be the shredder right there at the top. You've got a little Foot Clan symbol right there. You've got the little Egyptian cross there. You've got the scarab um, down on the bottom. You've got some of their ninja stuff, like a ninja star. You've got another kind of ninja star. You've got what looks like, I think maybe like a, a lotus flower maybe there on the bottom. That's not that. Someone please let me know in the comments. But overall, just, just a really awesomely detailed figure. And, and the head sculpt that they went with is cool for the, the initial head sculpt, but the best head sculpt here is this one right here. For those of you who don't know what this is based off of, this isn't some mummy that they base this off of. This isn't some horror turtle they base this off of. They base this head sculpt off of one of the original movie turtle masks that is just broken down and decomposed over the years. You can find images of it online all over the place. You just look up movie turtle mask broken or degrading or something like that and you'll find an image of it. And NECA based the Mummy Mikey off of that mask. And I just think that's such an awesome detail there. I think that is the best possible face sculpt they could have gone with for a figure such as this. I mean, the other head sculpt's cool. That's not a bad head sculpt, don't get me wrong. But this is way better. I mean, if they had only packaged this one head sculpt in here, I, I would not be upset at all. I, I, I don't really see very many Turtle fans who are probably gonna display this Mikey with this head sculpt because this is such a cool head sculpt and acknowledges a very real world thing that has happened with the movie Turtles, which these are the movie Turtles crossed over with Universal Monsters. 
It's not like they crossed over an animated concept of turtles or comic book concept of turtles. These are specifically the movie character turtles crossed over with Universal Monsters, which is such an awesome line. And I, and I love all the little wrapping and bandaging details all over this guy. I know I've brought that up a couple of times. He looks really cool. Now, here is his little cobra. He does come with a snake. Just a nice little snake accessory just because there's cobras in Egypt. Of course, there's not really any snakes in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movie. The Foot Clan doesn't really do much with snakes either. So it's not really so much a callback to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, at least that I'm aware of, so much as it is just a really cool pack-in accessory. It is made of that nice little soft rubbery bendum material, so you can get some decent little poses out of this little guy right here. Just a cool little creature accessory to go with your mummy. And usually an um, Egyptian, um, Egyptian fiction, usually there's cobras in Egyptian fiction, like in mummy movies and such. I love his little nunchucks here are the Egyptian cross. So that's really cool. Both of them are. They've got chain goods chains. And just like with a movie Mikey, you can store them on the back of his shell in his little loops. So you just maneuver that little soft rubbery plastic. And you can store both of his nunchucks on the back of his shell like he does. Or of course, you can take one of the multiple swappable hands and put his nunchucks in his hands which I also think is pretty cool. And then last but not least, he also comes with a pair of extra bandages that you can just kind of stick on in different spots so you can have more, you know, frayed bandages just like kind of hanging off of them, which I also think is a really cool little accessory to just kind of add to the Mummy Mikey. And for comparison, here he is next to the regular movie turtle version of Mikey, so you can see them side by side. And for the Universal Monster versions, the Universal Monsters so far tend to be a little bit larger than their regular movie NECA counterparts. Um, not, not significantly larger, but they are a bit larger since they're supposed to be emulating these awesome monsters, and NECA definitely got a little bit more creative with these, which is, again, really, really cool. So far, this has been a really awesome side little line that they've been doing. And then, of course, also for comparison, here he is next to the first one that they released, the Raphael as Frankenstein's monster. So you can see those two side by side. I think they look really cool side by side together. And honestly, I just I really can't wait to review the rest. So stay tuned for more awesome Bay 12 video reviews featuring the Movie Turtles Universal Monster crossover by NECA. NECA has been doing some really, really cool stuff with turtles. I mean... They've, they've handled the turtle license, I think, very well over the past few years. Um, definitely provided a really nice high-end collectible for adult collectors out there with some really great accessories on articulation. But don't forget about Playmates, BST, AXN, and of course, Super 7, because all of those companies have produced some amazing, amazing turtle figures. And of course, we're not going to stop reviewing their product either. So stay tuned for those new turtle reviews. Stay tuned for more NECA turtle reviews. And stay tuned for the more Universal Monster NECA turtle reviews because we do have more coming up in the near future. Make sure you like and subscribe, follow us on social media, and tune into our live sales. And of course, don't forget to check out our new storefront in the shops that will abend inside Order 66 Multiverse. There's all kinds of cool Bay 12 stuff, including awesome Turtles merch and more at our storefront. We'll see you guys later. We'll see you another time. Cowabunga, dudes. That's it, man. Game over, man. Game over.